on YouTube, it's Rock Down at Omaha Air Tactical. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, little more affordable version of the uh, TAR, what they call the uh, S&T Explorer model. Um, you'll see here, this guy does have a full metal gearbox. Um, it also uses, uh, it's obviously a proprietary hop-up, but uh, uses the M4 style knob turn system, so it's very, very easy to operate. There's your full catch release, that's going to go ahead and shut your dust cover, but anyways, uh, to the basic aesthetics of the gun, uh, as you can see it's a bull pup, obviously, um, you can take normal stain egg mags right here in the back, uh, does have a functioning charging handle, bull catch, as I showed you earlier, which is very neat, um, uh, one thing that you will notice, some very obvious differences between this and the Aries version, one being that, uh, it's much, much lighter. It's made out of a different polymer than uh, the Ares version, but it does carry nearly all of the same features over. One that it does not carry over, though, is its battery spot. Um, you're actually going to put your battery up front in this guy, whereas you can use an integrated light or laser on the uh, Ares model. But it makes it a little bit easier, so you don't, really don't have to worry about uh, trying to fit your battery in the back here, which is actually what leads to another great S&T feature, which is also found in all of Aries guns. Go ahead and pop that guy down, get your quick change spring guide so you can go from CQB to, to field in a matter of minutes, just like on the G36s and the UMPs that uh, put out by Elite Force. But this does have the uh, IWI trades and the uh, Tavor 21 trades on the side as well right here. Um, the selector switch is going to be right here, and uh, but uh, yeah, we have no idea what this guy's shooting out of the box, so we'll put some .20s in the in the M4 mag and uh, head over to the Chrono, see what she's shooting. Meet you guys there. Alright ladies and gentlemen, you saw what she was crewing anywhere between 360 to 375, uh, so you're going to have a uh, great field gun. Um, also, you guys, like I was saying, you got your quick uh, change spring guide in the back back here so you can drop something weaker in there if you'd like to uh, be CQB legal or you can put something a little bit stiffer in there so you're right around 400, completely up to you. Uh, one thing I'd also like to mention we didn't go through earlier is not only is this down here, a functioning bolt catch release. It also is a spring tension release like you'd find on an ICS uh, Ford Assist or on the Comet Machine Blowbox Ford Assist. So that uh, gets rid of your spring tension. That way you don't have to fire it in semi-auto. But uh, one other thing, one last thing to point out to you guys. We were able to get a uh, 9.6 nunchuck in there. So it was very, very easy to fit in there. So you can get a pretty large power supply in there without really having to worry, even though it's located in the front instead of the back like the, uh, the Aries is. But uh, yeah, these are the, the new guys that have, like I said, the full metal gearbox by s &T, which comes with the quick change spring guide. So uh, stop into Omaha Air Tactical and uh, pick one of these guys up for CQB or for field because she's ready to go for both.